Now, don't be jealous, pal. Oh, how do you do? How do you do? Are you Mr. Venezelis? Well, you've got the right fellow. Sit down, please. Thank you. I wonder, Mr. Venezelis, if oh, you could... Oh, call me Nick. Well, I'm in an awful plight. Yeah. I've lost all my money at the roulette table. And I wonder if you could lend me some to get home on. Well, I don't believe in lending, but I'll give you ten. Ten? Oh, I need five hundred. Five hundred? Where do you live, Lady China? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I could leave this for security. Mm, you can't go wrong on that. It's worth nearly a thousand. You know jewelry, all right. And uh, women, too. You know, it's my business to make a study of human nature. And I can see that you're on the level. I've heard how fascinating you are to women, Mr. Venizelis, but the story's only half told it. Hmm. <laughs> well, I think that deserves a drink, don't you? How about it? Fine. Thank you. Here's to the most charming man I've ever met. And here's to the most charming woman I've ever met. You're certainly a friend in need. Big-hearted Nick, they call me. Never said no to a woman in my life. <laughs> Come, I'll take you to the cashiers and get the money. Oh, don't let's forget this. There. Tell me, when am I going to see you again? When would you like to? Tomorrow? For lunch? At the Savoy? Yes, that would be splendid. You give me your address. I'll uh, send my car for you. Uh, no, thanks. Uh, never mind. I can just take a taxi. Oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't think of you doing that. <laughs> oh, that's all right. I'll meet you there, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. And uh, tell the district attorney I'll see him on Tuesday. 